Anti-ship missiles are some of the most important weapons in warfare over recent decades there are some missiles that have stood out as world leaders the ones we're going to look at in this video are some of the most powerful and sophisticated ship killers the world has ever seen in 1965 the US Navy began developing an anti-ship missile designed to target surface submarines Naples slang for a submarine is a whale so because of this the missile was designated the harpoon following the sinking of the Israeli destroyer he lived in 19 1967 by Soviet-made Styx anti-ship cruise missiles the US Navy saw a widening gap in their capabilities and contracted McDonnell Douglas to begin the Harpoon missile program by 1977 the Navy started using a Harpoon as its basic anti-ship missiles across its fleet and air launched variant followed soon after first seen on the Navy's P-3 Orion in 1979 and later on eBay 18 Hornet and B-52H bomber among other aircraft the Harpoon miss opened has since been integrated into for an F-16 aircraft and is presently being integrated into for an F-15 aircraft in 1998 an advanced upgrade to the Harpoon missile block to was developed this upgraded missile incorporated global positioning system assisted inertial navigation which lets the system have both anti-ship and away and attack capability the Harpoon block to plus gives a rapid capability enhancement for the Navy that includes a new GPS guidance unit reliability and survivability of the weapon a new data lake interface that enables and flight updates improved targets like devotee and aboard option and enhanced resistance to electronic countermeasures. Our next missile is the RBS-70 this is a Swedish variation of the AGM-114 Hellfire missile it has been adapted for an anti-ship role and can be launched from naval vessels or a ground firing post depending on requirements the AGM-114 Hellfire missile was designed to defeat armored vehicles at standoff ranges the vehicles related to this missile are the H-64 Apache and H-1 Cobra attack helicopters however the Hellfire missile is able to be launched from other helicopters and platforms the guidance system of the Hellfire has evolved from the semi-active laser in the early models to the latest generation of millimeter wave guidance the Hellfire missile was first seen during the Gulf War in 1991's Operation Desert Storm achieving a significant victory over Iraqi armored forces RBS-17 is a laser guided missile system used by units of the Swedish amphibious brigade to deter the enemy from penetrating ships or ports and the Swedish archipelago the system has has high precision and can be fired from shore on ships and other locations at sea and on land the amphibious units can eliminate the target at which the missile is directed with the laser designator these missiles are equipped with a 9 kilogram warhead and have a range of about 8 kilometers the length of the missile is 163 centimeters and it has a day amateur of 17.8 centimeters the warhead section contains the achieve rag warhead views and guidance section group the proposed in part of the missile consist of the rocket motor and ignited the control section as for actuators a pneumatic bottle and pneumatic manifold and pneumatic distribution to be the RBS-17 also known as the Robot-17 is a Sabo Force Dynamics lead development to modify the AGM-114 Hellfire work on the Swedish Coastal Defense missile began back in the 80s it is manned portable with a missile long 48 kilograms in addition to the launcher firing system and laser targeting module usually it's operated in the field by a team of five men with to operate in the laser targeting system and three on the weapon itself El Rassam is the next missile we're looking at this acronym stands for long-range anti-ship missiles and they're for use against high-priority enemy targets like aircraft carriers troop transport ships and guided missile cruisers El Ransom anti-ship missiles can be guided toward enemy ships from as far away as 200 nautical miles by its launch aircraft the missile uses a multi-mode sensor sweep weapon data link and enhanced digital anti jam global positioning system to seek and destroy important targets within groups of ships at sea the missile can receive updates through its data link or can use onboard sensors to find its target instead terrorism will fly toward its target at medium altitude and then drop to low altitude for what's known as a sea skimming approach to counter shipboard anti-missile defenses the missile uses onboard targeting systems to find the target independently without the need for intelligence or supporting services like GPS satellite 
satellite navigation and data links Lockheed Martin is designing them as a with advanced counter counter measures to evade hostile active defense systems the BIA systems designed seeker and guidance system uses jammer assistant GPS and inertial navigation sensors and electro optical imaging infrared seeker with automatic scene and target matching recognition a data link passive electronic support measures with passive radar homing and radar warning receiver sensors artificial intelligence software uses all of these features to locate enemy ships and avoid neutral shifting and crowded areas the missile automatically distinguishes target rf and infrared emissions data and classifies locates and identifies these emissions for planning its path of attack the missile's data link lets other systems feed the missile a real-time electronic picture of the battlefield to enable several of the missiles to work together by sharing data to cooperate in an attack using a swarm aside from short low power data link transmissions the all ransom does not emit signals so it often can't be detected by radar and or as a missile can also find its own target autonomously by using its passive radar homing to locate sea and land targets the missile travels at high subsonic speeds that enable the missile to fly low near the ocean this lets the missile hide in the curvature of the earth from enemy air defense radar for most of the missiles flight the weapon was designed as a joint project of the is defense advanced projects agency and the air force to design an advanced anti-ship missiles that can launch from the navy ebay 18 he and f super hornet jet fighter bomber as well as from the air force v1 v lancer long range strategic bomber in the future the missile will also launched from the pa day or side maritime patrol aircraft you have 35 lightning to joint strike fighter as well as from the navy mark 41 shipboard vertical launch system there are also submarine launched versions that have been reviewed for future use no resume wide angle floodlight antenna can scan a wider arc in front of the missile for enemy radar emissions than radar can the missile is intelligent enough that it uses ai to detect new threats and its flight path classify them and fly around them once it gets close enough to something like an enemy task force and were around an aircraft carrier it can impair the ships in front of it to an onboard library of enemy vessels making sure it strikes an aircraft carrier and not a frigate in addition to its guidance capability l resin has arranged in excess of 200 miles this is three times as long as the older harpoon missile we look at earlier the 1000 and blast fragmentation warhead is twice the size of hard boots and a single missile would likely take out a 9000 and destroyer sized ship the arrest the unique guidance system should prove resilient against modern anti-ship missile defenses almost all of which rely on radar to be effective what do you think about these missiles let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it if you want to see more videos like this one that subscribe to